Now, How do you feel being the legend of like sports casters? You brought in the booyah, other side of the pillow. I mean, you paved the way for a lot of sport casters. African Americans too, and Jennings, Jennings. I look at you as like I, I, I've been watching you since you. you've been on TV doing sports. It's like you bring the flavor, you bring the swag. It's like you're a hip hop legend, but in sports. How do you feel about it? I don't. It, it's not. I know this is going to sound like I'm being all modest and whatever. I understand my place. I understand that I have opened some doors, but I had doors open for me. You know, I had guys like Jim Hill and John Saunders, you know, guys like that, guys named Dwayne Ballard, who you don't know, but when I was on local TV, he helped open the doors. A guy named Rick Williams, Rick Sullivan, you know, there, there are people who did the same for me that I hope I'm doing for other people. I get it. I understand that, that I... I've helped create certain niches. That's it. Just I, I work hard, like like everybody in this business, man. And right. I mean, anything more than that is just. I'm a dad, man. I'm, not, I, I don't, I'm a dad. Seriously, right, right. that's that's what I am. I'm not. I'm not anything special. But how did you? How did you end up like basically getting away with the? the terminology that you use what most people consider would be African American slang. That's how we talk. Now, do the job, write well, create well, be accurate, put in a bunch of statistics, do the job, and talk like you talk about sports. A lot of people, even at ESPN, people say, you know, how did you get away with that? Well, Chris Berman was doing it. You know, but he was doing his thing. Keith Oakman and Dan Patrick, they were doing their thing, which is fine. They were doing who they are. So if I'm sitting around watching the game with my boys, we're like, that dude just killed it, man. He was putting it down. So say that. He was putting it down. He scored 42 points, eight straight games over 40 points a game, third player ever to do that. Just add what's important. Add the job. Hold on, Gary. What's up? How are you? I can't even walk, I'm sorry. Oh, we're still. How are you? This is my girlfriend, Kristen. Nice to meet you. I'm Carrie. You too. You know my husband? You saw my partner. Yes. Writing. Writing? Writing by far. That's, that's the bedrock of it. It's not about how good a suit you wear, how good you look, or the makeup and all that. It's about writing. Write your stuff. Write your own stuff. Create something. Don't look at it as a chore. It's something that you do. It's because you, don't, you want to tell a story. You want to create a story. The way that I look at sports in it, every night I do sports in it, I'm writing a book. I'm writing a book of the day in sports. It's a challenge and it's fun. And when you write, write your voice. Don't write anybody else's voice. Don't write what you think sounds like television. Tell your stories and your voice how you'd say it. That to me is key. Thank you. And uh, like, what inspired you to be like, you know, get, get into the reporting field? Like, what was your beginning? How did this all start for you? Uh, I was playing football in high school, played a little bit in college. Uh, I didn't really want to do anything but play football, but I did an internship at a local TV station the summer before my senior year in college. And my first day in there, they sent me out to the, uh, the photographer. And I thought I was just going to take some notes, which I did. And I did the interviews. I wasn't on camera, but I did the interviews. And I came back and the producer said, all right, write a story. I still thought it was practice. So I wrote a story. And they said, take it over to Larry. He was the anchor, a guy named Larry Stockton, WTVD in Durham. So I took it over to Larry, I showed it to him. He marked out one word, changed it, and then he put it in the stack of scripts for the show. Mm -hmm. To this day, that's still the most excited I've ever been about any of my stuff being on TV. And I called my mom and dad and said, when Larry's reading those words, I wrote them. And that was, that was the moment for me that I thought, wow, this is, I like this. <laughs> and what do you do on your free time? Walk red carpets. <laughs> Uh, I don't work on my free time. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think about work. I don't think about my job. I hang out with my friends and my family, and I spend time with my daughters. I just I don't know what to do. Man. I'm a dad. I go to my daughter's soccer games, my other daughter's dance competition. You know, I drive them around everywhere. It's just normal. It's normal, normal stuff. Dad, normal dad.